Looks like we found the airstrip. Well, what's left of it? Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, on a public telephone booth, eh? What a wee look. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. Taking too long, but I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the. Oak. Come to Come me, to me airplane. airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke. The smoke. Huh? Huh? What? Look. <gasps> right on cue. <laughs> well, I'll be there. Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! Uh. Bravo, sir! Where to, folks? Cosmo Canyon, please. Uh, you talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? Uh, <clears throat> uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> Hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. I mean, it's not my money, it's 
with Rin's money. Oh, you Rin, message me. Do you want to pay this guy this much? Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. Still, if I were you, we wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. Oh. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not.
Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> Couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. We're getting pretty close now. Yep, bringing her down. as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to ya. The veil's this way.
getting flying chocobos next or climbing chocobos. Hey, so I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, what's he doing? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing, but how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a total nutter. I mean, there's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? Behold Cosmo Canyon, a sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. Whoa. Come on, Barrel. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Barrel. Go, 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 go. I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Oh. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. Why does he sound like Dinah? What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softie. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Wanted poster? 
Monster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Oh, I didn't look like I knew where I was going. Just that good. I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Hmm. Our minds, our very souls, all these are gifts. I've been studying planetology for years now. If it gives them the planet, more for me to learn. not gives them the planet. Feel the energy. Yeah. Just so we're clear, I only sell to customers I deem worthy. Okay, what the? That is Whenever I 
whenever you attack, the ATB feels gauge connect. Wait, when you attack, ATB gauge will fill. Cosmo Canyon Cloud, a long-standing dream of mine has finally come true. Planetology rejects our Mako-consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. So this is the famous cave hotel. Cosmos above, grant you a restful sleep. Go with the planet's blessings. Now I thought the property was how the oh, is the most. Beneath our veil. strangely enchanting about this <laughs> nestle in their vows but when that life fades it returns may the planet guide may the year yeah i can't wait to see i believe it is because is 
confident that we have the strength. Fellow Bugenhagen has forbidden anyone from entering. This is Explorer. Go look around. Hey, is fellow Bugenhagen gonna come down today? Right. How can I be of service? <sighs> Thanks for the business. We must drive. I'm sorry, but the elevator is currently undergoing maintenance. The history of Magnata books can be traced back to Cosmo Canyon itself. Our great mother's memory no store has this many books. I'm gonna become a whole new me. <laughs> Only the best classic canyon medicines.
<laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The canyon's also famous for its unparalleled view of the starry. I made sure to bring all my night photography equipment along. Can't sleep until I've got the perfect starlit shot. Just let me know if you find any good photo spots. Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Bugenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mama King? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Devices are testing the pull of gravity. I never thought you could become even more enchanting. And yet, you're clinging to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my dear. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories.
recognize that little scamp. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. That is one of the first Mako detectors ever built. Hmm, though no, I suspect it can't detect much now. a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Isn't that where you see Sephiroth at the end of the last game? Looking at the end of the galaxy. Hey, where'd he go? we observe here. Far reaches of time and space. To gaze at the stars is to gaze at their past. What they once were, eons ago. Indeed. Dirt. And I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud. And huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Okay, he's going to teach us some nonsense. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado...
only the beginning. A shooting star. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But... What of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. If ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery and fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks.
Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Wait, I'm just going to move that. Right this way. Things of the planet upon you.
This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. If people want my exercise not Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Already I feel the planet's They are both one in the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. The planet speaks. All the time I've spent here. The seminar is I've uh always been on the bigger blessings of the planet upon you fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us you are more than welcome to do so please continue on into the assembly spending all my time indoors according to him a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks and I was a burden on the planet but What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, Defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. Yes, ooh, there it is. I'll see you at the festival. Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. Ah, the river of lights. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. Huh. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. There is no seven. I think meditation has really helped. Can I help you? Mm. We are siblings.
this sound like me. Okay. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. So many I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? They were young, but the desire to protect the planet burned No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. I mean, it could have been better. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? Just gotta laugh it off. It's that simple. Except it's not. At least, not for me. I don't know. Maybe... I'm too serious for my own good. Did I sound as the awkward as I felt? Gay. Felt for you. Never been that good with words, as you know. We're just two peas in a pod, aren't we? It was the same as the other one, no? Heck, I think the other one might have been better, no? Look at those stars. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. Like the youths who left Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I, I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks.
he would never forsake us. The planet's trying to tell me something. Or what? This wonderful planet is always watching over. Sorry, I can't. I'm still not ready. If people everywhere resolve to not take her bounty. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong, but sitting here looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. It is that which comes from... So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. It's okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given.
It is time. <sighs> Whoa. Sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. So. This is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? Okay, last thing before I speak. What did you all think of the River of Light? Did you want me to restart and say something different to Aerith? your faith in our great mother. She would never forsake us. Never abandon us. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Pretty much. Thank you. So if you get that, you get why I live every day like it's my last. Is that what you wanted? Such, the light with which she has blessed us is a gift. <sighs> You're such a faker. Oh, oh, shoot. Put your faith in our great mother. She would never forsake us. Never again. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be once you die. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Ugh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. We must live in harmony with our great mother, That's what you wanted. For the planet is an extension of us, and we of it. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Smile, stopper. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's you brought want some wonderful <laughs> people into my life, friends that I love. And for once... So you want the other one. What did you all think of the River of Lights? For whatever reason, the ceremony... Oh my god. Which one are you going to end up with? Would you really stop? Okay, whatever. Put your faith in our great mother. She would Sorry, I can't. Never Still not ready. When you die, you return to the. That has. Once you die. Which one do you want? Why do you think that? I just do. Oh my I God. believe in anything. Learn well the 
choice of giving. The pretty much. One which the planet will reward in time. I picked pretty much. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Is that what you want to end with? Okay. Those who sacrificed. That's enough. It's okay. I'll keep going. Is that what you want? So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. you all think of the River of Lights? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. I want you to and know. it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. So People are surrounded so by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself the is quite a challenge in my old age. This door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. And off we go! We follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Um, how do we end up over here? When did we cr wait? Oh, we took a boat from here to here, and then we went here to here, and then here. Oh. <laughs>